Uh, Dylan Reed coming up. Yeah. Suddenly, my guts start ringing, so I go to the toilet, I do my business. There was a lot of toilet paper involved. <laughs> and my worst nightmare happens. I hit the plunger, the water starts rising, I'm like, no, 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 no. And I look around, I see zero plungers. I'm digging through cabinets, looking through closets, I'm behind enemy lines without a fucking weapon. <laughs> So I'm presented with some options. Do I go out and talk to him and find out where Plunger is? Or do I roll up my sleeve like SEAL Team 6 and get in there? I'll tell you what I did. I closed the lid and I left. I went home, I closed the door, didn't say anything. And then I fake sick for a week so I didn't have to see him at school. Do you know what that is? Modern problem solving people. <laughs> This was such a mistake. <laughs> I have a, I thank you for the wig. I just don't know what to do with it right now. I'm crying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll just hold this one the entire time. Um <laughs> How do I drink my beer? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> this has gone so far off the rails. <laughs> um, I got cut off the other day, driving to work, and as I got cut off, the guy was like in his lifted truck, and his truck was covered in like America First and Don't Tread on Me bumper stickers. 
And you know, I got to thinking, like, you can really tell a lot about a person by the bumper stickers they put on their car. For instance, if you see a Salt Life bumper sticker, that person will tell you they're on island time, but really they're on their third DUI. <laughs> if you see one of those like stick figure families, all they're saying is, my finish is cream pies. <laughs> Some of you guys like that, some of you guys are parents, fine. Um, if you see a bumper sticker that says America First on it, that means in their adult life they've kissed their father on the mouth. And if you see a Don't Tread on Me bumper sticker, it means they use tongue. Oh, God. Okay. Um, wasted a lot of time with this wing. I'm gonna end on this. I, <laughs> I've been um, reading a lot about Sigmund Freud lately. And the more I read about him, the more I realize that, I don't know if he was actually a, like a psychologist or more just like a frat bro that everyone took a little too seriously. Think about it. Like, the Oedipus complex where every man wants to fuck his mom and murder his dad? That doesn't sound like, bro, think about it, bro. <laughs> think about it. Everyone wants to fuck their mom. That's why my, I mean, Tyler's mom is so hot. <laughs> of course I kill my dad. Jerry's a fucking dude, bro. The, uh, the oral fixation, fuck off, that's not psychology. That's just like, oh no, bro. The way you hit that jewel seems kind of sus. On oh, God, I think you want it to be a dick. <laughs> he, he prescribed cocaine to his patients when they were sad. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Like, I don't know, bro, I've just been, I've just been feeling down. Bro, you know what I did? When I felt down after Julie dumped me because I cheated on her with her sister? <laughs> Cocaine! <laughs> anyway, guys, I've been Dylan Reese. Thanks so much. Thank you for the wake up. <laughs> <laughs>